I'm Joseph Pate and you're welcome to the music review. The music review, we talk about Ugandan music, it's strictly about Ugandan music and the issues that are taking place in Uganda's music uh, scene and uh, one of the biggest, biggest issues or one of the biggest topics that is like, uh, you know, dominating social media is save Uganda's music, save Uganda's music. A couple of artists came together and they are saying no 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 our music is uh, being dominated by other styles of music most especially from nigeria maybe from other uh, countries as well but most especially from nigeria and they are saying no 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 our radios should play plenty of our music instead of you know the foreign content and uh, we're going to discuss about that. So you, you should also join the discussion and tell us what you think. Save Uganda's music. Uh, save it from what? Okay, from the foreign music. But what should we do in order to save it? And uh, are they really justified to come up with that, you know, uh, topic on the social media that uh, uh, we should save Uganda's music? Who is to blame? Who is to blame for the for for the ills that are uh, in the music industry? And with me is Mr. Mr. Joachim Buembo. Joachim Buembo has been following Uganda's music for quite some time. He's a lover of Uganda's music, and uh, but Uganda's music, which has uh, the word classic, you know, <laughs> tagged to it. Mr. Mr. Buembo, you are welcome oh, to the show okay. once again. Thank you so much. Yes, Mr. Buembo, um, save Uganda's music. That is the topic mm. that uh, is dominating the social media. You know, some artists, as I said, they came up with that topic and um, they are crying for crying for that um, uh, they, they, are, they are not getting the, the, the respect they deserve, they are not make, probably getting the money they deserve and the media is, uh, is focused mm -hmm. on playing the playlist of most of the radio stations mm -hmm. is focused on foreign music and Nigerians and stuff and in December probably, this, yeah, December, about three Nigerians will be here and I guess it will be full house. So what do you have to say about this? Can you take me a little bit back and so forth about these battles and you know, you are dominating, um, we don't need you here, stuff like that. Well, I think first of all, they need to mm. tell us what is this Ugandan music, mm -hmm. which they want to be saved. <laughs> okay. Because uh, these days you hear of a concert being promoted and uh, you have a list of some 20 artists who are going to perform. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they are all performing in the same way, the same mm. style, the same, mm. whether they even know each other. Some of them are, are even enemies. They are always <laughs> yeah. beefing. Mm -hmm. So we would need to, to have a definition of what this Uganda music that needs saving. Mm -hmm. And then we can even conclude whether it should be saved. Okay. But I think when Ugandan music has ever faced such challenges mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. foreign mm -hmm. artists, mm -hmm. uh, in the 60s and yeah. 70s, yeah. They responded in the most sensible way. And what was that? They perfected their act. Their act. Okay. They trained, uh -huh. learned, uh -huh. and did better than the Congolese. Yeah. And, uh -huh. Uh -huh. That is how uh -huh. you have the yeah. golden age of Ugandan music of the, the 70s. Golden, yeah, the 70s. It yeah. arose out of competing with the Congolese. Competing with the Congolese. So, so compete. What you are, yeah, what you are saying, Mr. Buembo, is that... Um, what the Ugandans back then, the young Ugandan musicians like the Cranes Band, the Afrigo, the Moses Matobos, the Renzoris, mm -hmm. the Kawariyas, and, and so forth. Mm -hmm. And what they did was they looked, listened, looked at what the, the Congolese do, listened what, to what the Congolese do, yep. and said, okay, fine, exactly. this is how you do it, and this is how you are going to do it. So they copied what they were doing, and in, in, uh, they became very good. And there's yeah. no need for the Congolese and to adopted be, and adopted the Congolese, yeah. whatever. Okay, so um, yeah, uh, we also talk about like the 80s. Mm -hmm. We're talking about um, the 70s now. If you come to the 80s, I, I remember one of the dominant styles of music because in the 80s the economy is very bad. The, yeah. the security is not security very, is very, very good. It's yeah. horrible. Um, there are mm -hmm. no, no. Disco overnight, you know, yeah. and it was a, a, a bizibia, as they yeah. used to call them. The time dancing. And the time, time dancing. dancing. And, and the um, Kampala heat. Yeah, in Kampala. <laughs> there was no AC, remember? <laughs> <laughs> there was no AC. In mm -hmm. the, there was no AC in the whole town, in the offices. No AC. And uh, people would dance and end at, at around midday. At right? midday. And then you go back home. So, uh, the dominant style of music 
was the South African at one moment in time, the South African. And the Congolese yeah. like tried to sneak back again. So what happened in that, if you can still remember? I think, in fact, when you talk of the South African, we are talking of um, the Yvonne Chaka Chak times. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, later on, uh, of course, Lucky Dube mm -hmm. and the like. But again, um, there was quite a bit of good um, performance. Mm. Remember, you had the people also coming back from exile mm. who also did quite a bit of... You know, you have people like uh, the, the, the Hope, Mukasa, Sema Timba, you know. Mm. They, 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 they may not necessarily be musicians, but mm. you know very well the big, yeah, 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 the big yeah. role they played. The, the big role that they played. In discovering the new musicians, yeah, musicians post-NRM, uh, yeah, after yeah, the NRM exactly. days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, again, it was about t getting your act together. Exactly. And uh, so people competed. And I don't know what now they would want, they would want who to help them. Do, do they want the consumers, the audience to to patriotically uh, choose their music mm -hmm. instead of better music from elsewhere? Yeah, that's the big question, exactly. Yeah. Or do they want government so, to ban foreign to music? ban foreign music, yeah. Now, if you talk about the consumer uh. making... The, I, I think what you're trying to say is that the consumer is free to pick, to, to listen to whatever good music he or she desires. Not Precisely. So. And the consumer has is spoiled for choice. Is spoiled for choice. So you want so to. So if, you, if you are yeah, producing yes. crap, yeah. you, you, that consumer will just turn to something else, something classy somewhere else. Yeah. Not so. And I don't see why someone wouldn't prefer, for example, music in their mother tongue. You have the advantage on me as a consumer because you can sing in my language. Okay. If you can't even beat the other guy who is singing in a foreign language for my vote, then you have a problem. You have a problem. Yeah. Okay, let's go for a short break and uh, we shall just play you any of the songs that um, you, we think you, you really love. And then we'll again come back and talk about the same issue, save Uganda's music. To save it from what and from who? And who needs to save it? Who should take on that? Mm -hmm. Don't go away. I'll be back after this. My dear Lord, Santi Sana, for your support, Santi Sana, for your love, Santi Sana, for the care, Santi Sana, my dear Lord, Santi Sana, for your support, Santi Sana, for your love, Santi Sana, for the care, Santi Sana. I've fallen in love with you, oh. I have fallen in love with you. I've made up my mind for you, oh. No matter the way that I deal with you, oh. Welcome back. I'm Joseph Bate, and uh, you are watching uh, New Vision TV Online, the music review. And we're talking about Save Uganda's music. Save Uganda's music is a topic, it's an issue that has you know, cropped up recently. It's on social media, Chameleon was involved in that, and many other artists, Ziza Bafana, they are involved in that, and they are saying we, save, we should save Uganda's music. And I think one of the biggest worries is that, um, yeah, uh, the local waves are being dominated by foreign music. Now, who should save Uganda's music? And firstly, what, why, why are we turning to foreign music? What is happening? Why are our tests shifting to something fresher? That means there's a mistake being done. Okay, these Ugandan artists are making mistakes somewhere in the, in the production, somewhere. Something is not right. 
what is it exactly is what I want to ask Mr. Joachim Boimbo. Mr. Joachim Boimbo, you have listened to Uganda's music. You have mm. listened to, uh, you probably even watched, attended most of them. You are there, you are, you are, wherever you go, you are listening to the music. What do you think is wrong with our Ugandan music in your own context? Well, I could call it a, pro a crisis of identity yeah. or lack of identity. Lack of identity, exactly. Yeah. I've been to a number of performances. I've even uh, had the opportunity to go to to attend a, a concert in uh, the in Lagos mm. in uh, the Felakoti, mm. whatever. Now it's the Sun mm. that I've watched. I didn't watch the original guy. Mm. You watch the Sun, mm. mm -hmm. and, and you go to because you you are you are seeing something original mm. or with an identity. Mm. So it goes back to the question: What is uh, what is Ugandan music today? Mm. Okay, you can tell that Afrigo is Ugandan. Mm. Not that it's original anyway. Mm. Afrigo, they also get for yeah, the also copies from the yeah yeah from from. But from, they are consistent. They are consistent. Really. You just mm. hear something and you know that is Afrigo. Mm. Now, today, what is this? So I think to answer the question, I think there is lack of consistency. Lack of consistency with our artists. Okay, most of them. If you had them today performing, uh, next year, you may not know it's the same person. Mm. You could even think that, um, well, as someone said, the bitter uh, unkindly is that they can never even sing what we, we buy on CD, what they have what they put on the CD. Yeah. And they're, they're right in a way. Because you watch, you listen to the music, it sounds good, it sounds quality, but go watch them on stage perform they can't sing not even a quarter of the, <laughs> what, the what? most of them can't sing but yeah. i'm not saying that everybody i'm saying most of them can't sing actually yeah yeah so i think there is a i mean we can get lessons from everywhere you can't just hear that some people are making money as musicians let mm. me jump into it this is it then i go the other uh -huh. i think it's more of they are crying that uh, to have their money saved but not the music they just want the money saved. They, yeah. they, that, that flow, that cash flow. Yeah. <laughs> save our cash. Yeah, yeah. save our cash yeah. flow. Yeah. Okay. Because if it's the music which was under uh, uh, assault, mm -hmm. then I think it wouldn't even be them. It would be us, to be the audience, who say, hey guys, why don't you give us the current Uganda music? Okay. The radios and so on. Mm -hmm. Why are you giving us this foreign stuff instead of giving us ours? But if the audience is not demanding, and it's the artists, the, the singers who are demanding. Then they are, they, I think they are fighting for their money, not for Ugandan music. They are fighting for themselves. Yeah. For, for the money, for their money. Yes, I think, uh, yes, to add on that, Mr. Boimbo, is mm. um, uh, uh, you, you have pointed something out which I think is um, uh, very important. That is uh, the money. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 when, when somebody sees uh, Bebe Cool uh, driving a hammer, Mm -hmm. Some young man says, okay, baby cool. And yeah. He started out like this. This is what he does. Mm -hmm. So he goes and eps baby cool's look, mm -hmm. maybe even the way he writes and the way he raps. Yeah. And uh, then uh, he says, let me do it and I, so that I can also get the money and I, I drive a good car like he does. So it's not a, it's not a calling. It's like music is not a calling, but it's, 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 a way, it's an escape route. Yeah. And that is hurting the music industry, the quality of the music. And the problem been. is that uh, it's, uh, even as you look for money, you are not, don't want to put in enough effort okay. to get that money. Yeah. Maybe if you put in enough money, enough effort, then you'll get the money from the music. Okay. But if you think it's a matter of putting together some banners and then call a concert and then people do not come and then more people come for the foreign artist and then you complain, we should get lessons from different places. From Even different the Pope places. tries to tell young people, Pope Francis, I mean, mm. nothing, you cannot get nothing, something out of nothing. You have to put in effort and get out, and, and get some, get out some result. Yeah, get some result. But it's not just a quick, quick fix. You have those successful big foreign artists. They work for it. They work for they it. They work 16, 18 hours a day. They work long. They train hard. I don't know whether people really get even voice training these days. Yeah, Some of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. If you talk to older musicians and, they, and you told them that this guy going on stage has never had real voice training, maybe they would... 
they wouldn't believe it. <laughs> they wouldn't believe it. Yeah, you have reminded me about Fire Retires. Mm. If you went, he was like the band leader at one time of the mascots, Eri Wamara mm. and the mascots. So he was there with the Kabuya Semboga. And if you came and you are a singer and, and he's the band leader, he's playing drums but mm. singing at the same time. So you come, you get a microphone and try to sing and maybe try to you, you, you twist your voice like a mzungu. He will tell you of says, Gwe guy, man, uli kuchibi, no bichibi yo yimba. Buba to subula to vire. <laughs> Let's go for a break. Uh, we'll come back. Uh, I think, uh, let me play your fella kuti or semi kuti. Mm -hmm. uh, any of the yeah, kuti yeah. songs uh, mm -hmm. to, to please uh, Mr. Joachim Buyembo, a fan and who attended, who went to Nigeria and attended one of uh, his shows. This, these guys, or the father, uh, the son and the father, uh, they are the, the originators of the Afro beat style of music that we love so much here in Uganda. Don't go away. I'll come back after this. Save Uganda music, uh, another series, second series, and uh, watch out for the next one. We'll own Save Uganda music, and with me in the studio is Joachim Buembo. Have a nice day.